cup of tea, what what? Well, 1776, the year of the American Revolution, the year that America awoke from its sleep to herald in the birth of a new nation, a great nation, a nation that will one day put men on the moon, one defeat Soviet, the Soviet Union, conquer Nazi Germany, and bring liberty to Western Europe and Eastern Europe eventually. Now, what is the constitutional movement in the United States? Well, to speak about Ron Paul, and Dennis Kucinich is an easy, easier um, animal to describe than the Tea Party under Sarah Palin. Because the rational um, part of Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich's uh, campaigns are that they should get rid of the corrupt Federal Reserve, that they should return to a gold standard or a partial gold standard. The latter, I prefer, a partial gold standard rather than a full gold standard because it would give America far too much power vis-a-vis -vis Europe. But from the American perspective, a gold standard would give it 97% of the world's gold. Um, this would not necessarily make it many friends in the world, particularly Russia and Europe, since much of their gold is actually stored in the United States. But... Clearly, Ben Bernanke, Greenspan, Volcker, all of these guys are gangsters and crooks and they should be run out of office. People like Geithner, people like Rahm Emanuel for crying out loud. Rahm Emanuel, a guy who's associated with the Abigail Israeli crime family. What is he doing as secretary, as chief of staff to the President Obama. What is he doing there? Right? These guys are, cr are gangsters. They should not be in office. Right? So therefore, I can clearly see why Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich have said these things. Alright? The Constitutional Movement wants 1776 back to return to the United States Constitution as the highest form of law for the United States. Now, it's not just about tea parties and making fun of Sarah Palin, because there are some strong constitutional movements within the tea party itself. But is it free of the Republican Party, or is it just another layer in the neocon establishment that is the Republican Party? If the tea party itself cannot free itself from its Republican roots, if it cannot make its own parties that stand against the two-party system, in the United States, then it will not free the United States. It will merely reinforce a brand of republicanism that Sarah Palin and um, George Bush and Rush Limbaugh all represent. That is the creationist fringe movement that is more into the into the guns, gays, and um, issues and also abortion. Now I am against social abortion and I am for gun ownership in the United States and I, I and on social issues I'll leave that to individuals okay but what is um, what is the problem with the Republican Party? The Republican Party is in hock with Israel as is the Democratic Party under the Clintons. Bush and Clintons are very close together, okay? Now, <clears throat> Bush Senior's mum, Bush, George Bush's mum even called uh, Bill Jefferson Clinton her son in an interview. He's like my son, she said. This is how close they are. It's a two-party system. And you must have proportional representation in the... Um, United States to get many parties in who would not be represented otherwise. Thus the Green Party should be let in. The Nationalist Party should be let in. The Constitutionalist Party should be let in. The, all these different groups of people are having to vote for Democrat or Republican. 
I would describe myself in America as a Southern Democrat, but in Europe I am a Social Democrat. I would vote for Ron Paul or Dennis Kucinich on the principle that they would get rid of the Federal Reserve, but apart from that I don't agree with them in many things, and Ron Paul particularly is a bad, bad media company, um, particularly these 9-11 truthers. I believe Bin Laden's did 9-11 on their own because they're far more powerful than Bush or Clinton and far more evil than either of those people who are and more clever. I believe that 9-11 was done particularly to, in such a way that it made it look like some other actor was involved when actually what they were trying to do was to remove the Saudi Arabian royal family. Why would they do this since the Saudi Arabians are also a crime family? Well, the Bin Ladens and the Saudis are at loggerheads over who controls Saudi Arabia. And since the Saudis backed the Americans rather than Bin Laden straight away, that is another beef between them. But it was definitely done in such a way with a truck bomb and plane strikes to make it look like there was some other actor there to try and de decapitate the American government by the reaction of the American people. This, did, was, this failed, luckily, and the United States is clearly set its teeth round the throat of Al-Qaeda, much to my uh, enjoyment. Okay, I hate the Bin Ladens, I hate terrorists, I hate the Saudi royal family, right? But on the issue of the Tea Party, can, you, can the Tea Party get rid of the Federal Reserve? Is that even one of its goals? But my friend, Pie Man, said that it, the Tea Party is about a move back to 1950ism. What he described as in a build in America, buy in America strategy that will upset the the cosy relationship between the elites in China and America, drive China's at China's consumer goods out of America by producing better, cheap, clean energy producing vehicles, and overall make America cleaner, stronger and power, more powerful as and also an equal partner with the the EU. And also to develop South America and Africa together with the EU, South America and Africa as part, equal partners. This is um, the return to the non-aligned strategy that the United States had after the Second World War. where it wouldn't have any entangling alliances except for NATO, where it had to have those because to prevent the Soviet Union sending 50,000 tanks over to steamroll Western Europe. <clears throat> this seems to me a very good strategy for the United States. So God bless the United States and all of everybody in it who can, who is a rational constitutionalist and is for a true, pure, proportional democracy in the United States. This won't um, <clears throat> be. Uh, this won't don't please everybody in the United States, but it will please the majority of the people in the United States. And that's what I'm into, democracy. Thank you for listening.